In a statement posted on Saturday of January 7 this year, Ant Group said that after an ownership restructuring, no shareholder, alone or with other parties will have control over Ant Group. The company is an affiliate of e-commerce giant Alibaba, which the Chinese billionaire Jack Ma also founded. So this means that Ma gave up his voting rights in the company. Previously, Jack Ma owned more than 50% of voting rights at Ant Group, but the changes mean that his shareholding has fallen to 6.2%, as per a Reuters report. From this report, I am bit surprised, why has this happened? I decided to pass through different information sources and found something here. Do you want to know more? Join me to the end of this video. The trouble started in late October after Jack Ma criticized China's regulators at a conference in Shanghai. As Ma's financial tech firm Ant Group was preparing for the world's largest initial public offering, he accused authorities of stifling innovation and blasted the country's banks for having a pawn shop mentality. Beijing's retaliation was swift. Within days, regulators called off the IPO, but not before summoning Ma and Ant executives to a meeting. In the weeks since then, regulators have ordered Ant Group to restructure large swaths of the company. They even extended their scrutiny to Alibaba, which is then subjected of an antitrust investigation. Subsequently, Alibaba was fined a record $2.75 billion for anti-monopoly violations and went through a compliance overhaul under the supervision of China's market regulators. Since then, Ma has been lying low, refraining from making high-profile public remarks. Now that Ant Group has distanced itself from him and Alibaba. Do you think by doing this, we'll face fewer regulatory hurdles? Yes I think it will. In the eye of Chinese regulators, Ant Group's Alipay is a critical infrastructure in China's digital payment sector as it serves over 1 billion people in China and has arguably become too enormous to be controlled by any single entity or individual. In fact, on January 4 of this year, after ownership restructuring in the company, the China Banking and Insurance Regulatory Commission Division in Chongqing approved Ant Group's request to raise $1.50 billion for its consumer unit. Ant Group could also receive the green light to resume its IPO process. However, according to China and Hong Kong's listing requirements, a company needs to wait between one to three years before applying for an IPO following a change in its actual controller. Therefore, the IPO won't take place till at least 2024. Doing this means that Chinese regulators' years-long scrutiny of the group might be coming to an end. What is your thought on this? Leave your comment below and we will review on it. If you are interested on our videos, don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Also we have other videos, if you want to take a review on them, we have the link for you in the descriptions. Also you can follow us on social media, as Millionaire Stories, the link are in the descriptions. Thank for watching this video, have a good day.